and welcome in a Patriots legend and Super Bowl champion and a guy who will be on stage being inducted into the Patriots Hall of Fame this weekend. Mike Vrabel joins us now on Zolak and Bertram. Mike, how are you? Good morning, guys. I'm great. How are you? Ah, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, come on the show today, Mike. Hey, when, uh, when this Hall of Fame announcement came down and you played in the first half of that dynasty when you guys won three at the beginning, there's a lot of big names in there. You know, of course, guys have gone through and got the red jacket with you, but you were up against Logan Mankins and Bill Parcells. What were the chances you thought of being being selected into the Hall of Fame? Well, I... I think after initially, you know, I think my son Carter put it the best. He's like, well, you know, Dad, seventh time's a charm. So um, I I didn't really have any expectations. I I figured at some point in time it would come, um, possibly posthumously. But uh, there's so many great people uh, that have been involved with this organization, um, even from before the the, the 2000s. And it's just – I think you stop worrying about when you get in and, and just being thankful that, that you're a part of the process and a part of everything that went on. And that, that's where I got to each year. I was very thankful of being nominated. Um, thank Mr. Kraft every year, every chance I got. Uh, and then just very appreciative of the opportunity. So, Mike, you, you're still in the sport. You still go to work every day in the NFL. But how nice is it to have a moment years removed from your playing career to sort of look back on it, reflect on it, and be reminded about, you know, why you love the sport so much, and that is because you played it. Well, yes, and I think it's also a great reminder to to me of what we're trying to create uh, within our organization, uh, of what we had in in New England and the, the types of people that we were involved with and that we worked with and that we played with and that coach there. I think that's just, it's, it's a great reminder of what we're trying to recreate. Mike, it must also be nice uh, to kind of get away from the day to day as Beetle just mentioned, where maybe not everybody loves you at every second <laughs> and come into an environment where it's just all about everyone loving you and the other guys. I mean, it's, it's probably not what any of us experience day to day, but that's what it'll be like for you, at least for a day. It will be probably a little bit unique in that regard. Um, <laughs> have not been, you know, I haven't been back as, as a, as a former player. I, I haven't, wow. you know I mean? It's since I got traded, um, in 2009 and i don't know how that's you know i think it's probably going to work through a bunch of different emotions i've you know i I got traded in 2009 and then i started coaching and then i visited with you know when we played with the texans and then when we when we played with the titans hey mike i remember i remember the joint practices we've had against you guys new england especially you know you know when you were in houston and and um the titans obviously but you talk about trying to trying to do the same type of thing within your own organization, what you learned as a player and what you learned here. How hard is that to do given, you know, the way the league is sort of set up? You get one padded practice. Camps aren't really hitting camps like they were for you guys back in the day. But how hard is it to teach that and do that without the physicality part of it? Um, I think it's, I mean, it, it's what the rules are. Yeah. And, and I don't know if it's so much about the, the practices or what we did but more about the people and the, the types of players, the, the, the versatile, versatility of, of players and, the, um, and, and who they are as people. And that's what I'm trying to recreate in the sustained success and how difficult it is in this league and uh, managing all that uh, on a weekly basis and on a monthly basis and a yearly basis. Mike, is your relationship with the Patriots at all awkward? I mean, it doesn't feel like when you left, it was a trade. It wasn't like a retirement. It was, you know, a little different. And now you're with another team. Is any of that awkward for you? It has not been awkward with uh, with Mr. Kraft, with Jonathan, um, with with Bill, other than when the, the few instances that we've, we've played. But outside of that, um, it's been it's been fantastic. I mean, every opportunity that I've seen, um, Mr. Kraft or Jonathan, uh, it's been it's been amazing. And then obviously with, with Bill, outside of the times that, that we're competing, uh, it's been it's been great. One of those times you're competing, you got him at the end of the game on that damn time roll. Uh, did you know you when did you know you had him and you could tell how pissed off he was at that time? 
I think that there were some conversations from upstairs. <laughs> you know, I think that they probably had a better view of it than I did. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think everybody's trying to, to, you know, get whatever little advantage that they can and whatever the rules are, try to use them to your advantage. And They change the rules, so nobody does it anymore. Are you looking forward to all the uh, improvements at Gillette Stadium, yeah. getting a chance to see everything there? <laughs> the <thought> guys. <laughs> now you're a big fan of all the stuff well, work that I they just, do there? You know, I don't even remember, you know, every time I see my comeback, it's, it's something's changed, you sure. know, and I got to see what Foxborough Stadium was, and I got to see Gillette be built and Patriot Place and everything right. there and of course. Uh, the whole area and the atmosphere. Um and it's you know they've added and changed things you know each and every year. There's a movie theater there yeah. too, from what I from what I hear. Movie theater. They got a new lighthouse. I've been in a lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen this the lighthouse. Yeah, but the movie theater that was like the original. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. That was like yeah. that was there. We were there. That was there when we rolled by and, and would see it. I think oh, we went there. I still, we they still got your picture up on yeah. They gave you free passes, I think, as a player. Whoa. Oh, I saw, big time. I saw the, Cocaine the, Bear the, there. I had to pay lounge, full price. The big loungy, uh, the big loungy uh, chairs, comfortable ones. That's right. Yeah, it was a big deal. Uh, Super Lux. Mike, during these induction ceremonies, typically there are former teammates that roast their teammate that's being inducted. Are you, are you expecting something like that tomorrow? There could be a little I bit of I have no living. idea. I haven't been able to attend uh, any of them. Uh, I would hope so. I mean, I as much as I gave, I, I have to probably be ready to uh, accept a little bit. But as long as I have the microphone last, I think we'll be fine. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be I'm seeing your portion, and you have two former players coming up. I don't know if you know who they are, but they'll have some stuff ready for you. But uh, it's going to be. Oh, a, I'm sure they will. It's going to be a fun day. You're going to. I'm sure. I'm sure they will, and they, rightfully so. Um, you know, Tom texted and said congrats and. You know, I'm guessing that that means that he won't be able He's to attend. It. He, probably has some, he, he probably has some cosmetic uh, event planned um, and won't be able to make it on Saturday morning. What, what, Mike, what, what year did he really start to get weird? We're like, you, you know, I know. I, I, that's what I said. I said back when you had it, and I texted. I said, text him. I said back. I said, remember when we, you we used to be ruthless, and it was just all the crap talking back and forth, and. And that's just like why we love to come to practice every day and we work and guys would you know, be on a show team and, you know, talking back and forth and just and competing and practicing. And I was like, when, when did you change? You know, and <laughs> it was, we were just, we were just joking. And again, it's it was great to catch up with him yesterday. You got a good scar story? Cause he's going in with you too. Like Dante is a real bitch. Probably man just, a coach. I've never seen anybody be nicer uh, <laughs> off the field yeah. and caring and compassionate and then all of a sudden, he just you know, he turns it into the Tasmanian devil. And I'm like, who, who is this kid? And then he'd be like, hey, how, how are your kids doing? And I'd be like, what? <laughs> like, uh, I mean, one time I had to look up this word. He was like, one time, I don't know if it was Matt Light or Steve Neal or somebody. He was like, for my own GD personal edification, what the hell were you thinking? And I was like, what does edification mean? I, I didn't even know what that word meant. And, and it was just the way that he set it out on a field. Uh, I, I was like, Scar, I gotta have to look that one up. <laughs> <laughs> He's odd, oddly intimidating, but I, the, I, I can totally picture that him just like turning the switch and being like, "By the way, I know I just got done screaming at you, but how are the kids? Yeah, he's Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, how are you doing? How yeah, you doing? yeah. Who was your Let's favorite? Your favorite assistant coach over the years as a Patriot? Charlie. <laughs> Oh, man, that uh, probably, you know what, Ralph Ryan was uh, was the first one, right? And I remember coming from Pittsburgh, not having done much there, but Rob really excited about having me. And, you know, first day of OTAs, an off-season program. And, again, you know, Rob, he's wired high strong, and he's like, Phew. now let me tell you something now. You're playing for your family and mine, so don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> it's no pressure. He's like, hey, you're playing for your family and mine, so don't mess up. Mike. That uh, was his motivation. Congratulations again. Uh, tomorrow should be a great day for you and for everyone involved, and uh, we're happy you were able to give us a couple of minutes ahead of this big weekend. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it, man. Can't wait to get back there. All, All right. right. See you, Mike. Mike Vrabel, former Patriot, going into the Hall of Fame, current Tennessee Titans head coach, uh, and that is happening tomorrow 